So I found a text which was actually from a mummy wrapping, ancient papyrus, um, and it was very fragmentary, so there were words missing everywhere. And then um, a friend of mine, Emily Tesh, who is a poet, has written something in English to go alongside it. So there are isolated moments, um, pockets of just the Greek, and then it will suddenly snap into the English for some sections as well, in hopefully quite an organic way. That was the plan. I, I chose the Greek text because of the, um, the potential for, for a percussive use of the words. Because there's an element of electronics involved in the piece, I've been thinking a little bit about how that will come across um, on, on, on CD or online when people are listening to it through headphones or through speakers. Um, and there's going to be a certain amount of crossover between the live mezzo-soprano and recorded bits of, I'm meeting Laurie Luxembourg later, to um, record some, some um, samples of her singing which will mix together with her own voice. So I had my, my main workshop yesterday with the players. It's been fantastic in, in developing the piece and I'll, I'll take that away. I know what works now and what doesn't work. So the, the, the programme has been absolutely amazing and, um, and yesterday it was a great day to, to hear it um, played by such fantastic musicians and, and to hear their views on it. It's been good, it's been a, good, a nice environment and we've had a little bit of free time in the evening so we went to the pub last night and then I know we had a few hours off this morning so people kind of went off to their rooms and did a bit of work. So it's been quite a creative environment as well and um, some good discussion and talking about the pieces. It would be, it would be absolutely incredible to, to be released on an NMC to actually have a real concrete thing on CD and uh, for it to reach a larger audience um, would be um, incredible. Oh, 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 oh,